Hi guys, in this video, I want to talk about keto rash and a fatty liver, okay? Now, there's a couple reasons why a person would get a rash after doing keto or intermittent fasting. One would be if you're doing keto without intermittent fasting, it's going to be usually a B vitamin deficiency, okay? Number two, if you're doing intermittent fasting, that could be a side effect from autophagy, which basically is a condition where your body is cleaning up all the old damaged parts and recycling proteins and cleaning up microbes, which could stir up uh, some issues and create skin uh, reactions. But the more common issue would be this. Uh, your liver is fatty and you don't have the capacity for full liver function, okay? So it's limited in capacity to work correctly. So when you do keto and intermittent fasting, the requirements for B vitamins go straight up, okay? So you're gonna need more B vitamins and if you don't uh, produce those B vitamins, you could then end up with certain side effects. The main B vitamin I'm talking about is choline. Choline works to prevent a fatty liver and it's great to reverse a fatty liver. It works with bile which is a kind of an emulsifier. So it actually helps break down fat. So the combination of choline and purified bile salts are really important in fat digestion. So if you have a, a problem digesting fat, it could be that you not only need purified bile salts, but you need some choline to help with that. So choline is a super liver cleaner. It's great for hemorrhoids, uh, certain types of constipation, and especially if you have difficulty digesting fats. And what's ironic, is guess where you get choline? Eggs, egg yolks, and beef liver. Now you would think consuming these fats would give you more fat, but that's not where this fatty liver came from. It came from either alcohol or carbs, sugar. And the gut flora, the friendly bacteria in your gut is essential in determining if you're gonna absorb the choline in the first place. So if you have a history of constipation or taking antibiotics, you wanna make sure that you start fortifying your gut with friendly bacteria and fermented foods to make sure you get uh, your absorption of choline. So I know a lot of people are gonna ask, what brand of choline, what dosage? Well, that's for you to research and figure out. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, press subscribe and I will definitely keep you updated. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself and so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before